Hello, this is Moon and I have Challenge Rock Ride the Wave from Bluebird 369 here. So I like it quite a lot, it's a very nice one. Um, I had quite fun time with it. It's actually my second try to do this video because first time turned out into a complete gutting disaster. I had the pins like all over the table, luckily just the table and not everywhere else, but yeah, anyways. The log. I guess the uh, name comes from this key with this quite nice wavy bitting. And the log itself has very nice engravings, I guess it's laser marked. The key works quite nicely. It does need to be pressed a little because if you don't, you kind of catch it, but it works well enough for a challenge lock, I guess. And the picking. Picking was an interesting part. Um, the very first time I managed to open it, actually, I opened it counterclockwise so the way it doesn't open the padlock. Uh, I was just trying to understand if I could pick it at all and I was quite surprised that the wrong way around it opened really easily. So to understand it, um, yeah, I couldn't open it right way. So I took it out and played with it in a vise and I put it in this Brady uh, Lotto body and in that one it was also really easy so for me the real challenge here was the combination of this challenge lock core and the heavy spring of the american 1100 which i never encountered before i haven't had an american lock yet um, yeah but now i think i got it figured so just the spring that was interfering with the feedback and I'm going to use the deep and sink hook from Sparrows for this so that wording doesn't bother me at all. And yeah, let's see if I can open it once more. Let's just start from the beginning. Okay, pin six. Five, four, three, and how is there? One, I guess. There was a click on one. Again, six, five, four, three. Two, one. No, that is one. Six, five, four, three. Open, yay! Nice. So now it's open. Let's got it and hope it will work out nicely this time. Here's the key. Ah, well, which I don't need because it's open already. Let's see, here's my screwdriver. Don't have a proper one, but bike tool will work just as well. Let's take the key out. Retaining cap. The core. 
Cam. Nothing special in there, just I guess a regular 1100 body with nice markings. Let's put it aside, let's put that aside. And let's do it more careful this time than the last time. Here goes the clip, key, I'm going to use the core as a follower, uh, the shim is not strictly needed but let's play it safe. I know that the springs are relatively short, so I can get away without a follower. Here are all the pins. We'll get to that in a bit. And the key pins. Yep, key goes to the side. Let's see what we have here. Or let's zoom in just a little. Or got threaded chambers, except chamber two, I think. So some threading, but not in this one. So our single one, except chamber two and the chamber five does have threading. Just not just nicely visible with this lighting, but it is there. I hope you can see it. The core. one shifted the chambers in the body are also threaded First three and uh, not sure about the last three. Yeah, you can see it also here. I guess mm, number five is not. Yeah, I cannot feel any threading in there. Springs. Three. 
six, five. Number four, there is just one left. Number two look quite similar. So let's just arrange all of it. And have a nice close up. So very nice challenge log from Boobers 369 right away. Thanks for watching.